G'day, it's Switch here. Welcome to my art channel. In today's video, I want to continue working with the um, dips, what I call the Fiona Art Flower Dips. I've just done a little practice run here of what I wanted to do. Now, what I realised with my little practice run here is that the paint disappeared from the sides there a bit, so I might have to put some extra paint on that. But that's okay, that's a learning curve. So I just did, what I did here was I basically just drew the picture of the flower on here with the paint and then I put the serviette over the top and then pulled it off and as I did with the other one last Saturday. And that's the outcome of it. It's kind of cute. I kind of like that. Unfortunately, I've got Floetrol in this uh, this paint this time, and I was hoping that that would give me some cells, but it doesn't seem to want to give me any cells. So I might have to see what recipe Fiona Art uses uh, in hers to get those gorgeous little cells. I know that I think she's had satin enamel in some of hers, but I, I have to double check. I could be dreaming. Anyway, so that was my little trial, and I'll show you close up. It's not bad, but there is some paint that's been taken off the actual tile. So I'm not going to scrape that. I'm going to leave that because I could always embellish it later. I kind of think that's pretty. Using the same colours that I used on Saturday, I'm going to use them again. Um, these are all new colours that um, I've got. And colours I've never used before, or haven't used before, so I'm going to play along with those for as much as I can because I really love these colours. So I'm going to get another little tile and do the same sort of thing as what I did there, only this time I might add a little bit extra paint on the base just to show you what I was doing and having a play. This is basically a play, it's nothing major, it's just experimenting and playing because that's what I like to do. As you know, so let's get going. I put a little bit extra base this time. Uh, if you're wanting to know what those colours are, this is Holcroft Payne's Grey, and it's the bluer one. This time it's just the whole. Don't have any more left. Sorry. Hopefully. That'll be enough. Yeah, that's all I've got of that. All right. That's the end of that one. Okay. Now, I'll again draw with this again, the same way I did that. I love this colour. This is Jo Sonia. Just take a look. Take a look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, jo Sonia Purple Matter. And all I did was, whoops, probably put a little too much there. But all I did was draw a little flower. Whoops. It's not working now, is it? <laughs> it's always hard when you're on camera. Let's concentrate on what I'm doing. Just basically a little flower like so. Oops. Nothing special, just a dot in the middle. All right. Then I added the orange. Love that. Oh, and what I've done with these colours too is I've added a little bit of iridescent um, pouring medium. So it gives it like a, a metallic look, except for the rose gold that I've done that with all the colours. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is uh, Atelier Perinone Orange, and I've added the um, pouring, uh, the iridescent pouring medium to that as well. So it looks, you can see it on the tile here, even on that um, Payne's Grey that's got it as well. And you can see the shimmer on it, but I don't know whether you can see the shimmer on camera. I'm being a bit sloppy here. 
not very precise, but that doesn't matter. Not wanting precise. Uh, rose matter. This is uh, my, my rose matter. Love this colour. I'm not a pink person, but this colour is absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit wonky as in off the side there, but it doesn't matter. This is just a practice. Whoops, practice run. It's probably a little too much in the centre. Uh, then yellow. It's not come out. Oh, it comes out too much or not enough. having a lot of fun with this uh, technique <laughs> I want to try new techniques as I said this year and one thing I want to get into as well is uh, mixed media formats um, I'm watching lots of mixed media videos at the moment there's a exhibition at the end of the year that I want to submit to and I want to do a mixed media piece I may or may not, I'm not sure yet, do the piece on camera, like in stages, because it'll be a really long, long piece of artwork to do, a long time piece of artwork to do that one. So I may or may not put that on camera, but if I do, I'll show you in stages. Um, just so that, uh, yeah, so that's a new, new technique for me to do, because I've never done mixed media pieces before. So what's missing? Rose gold. Love this rose gold. It's a really deep rose gold. It's not as bright as it normally is. It looks almost coppery on camera, but it's actually pink. It's actually rose. Let's put that there like rose gold leaves. Just because I can. All right, now. Let's try that with a wet serviette. Don't have enough room to show you when I'm <laughs> dampening my serviette. I'm running out of room very fast. All right, now wish me luck. Let's see what happens, hey? Pat it all down nicely. Make sure it's all even. All right. Wish me luck, guys. Yeah, it's done it again. I'm thinking maybe because it's not enough paint, but anyway. Okay. It's done it around. Done it again and pulled off the uh, base. That looks pretty cool. I'm liking that. So that's how I did that. So a very quick one. Should I do another one? Maybe this time instead of doing it, I don't have any more paints grey. So what else I can use? I'll give you a close up of that one. I think it's kind of cool. Again, whoops. I won't scrape any of these because if I, um, they're really cool. If I find that um, I don't like them when they dry, I just embellish and create another format. Type art. Oops, must be a broken tile, that one. I didn't realise. Alrighty. So that's that one. Let's see what else I can do. I might do another one. I just need to get some base. This one is Holcroft. It's high flow acrylic, so it might be really thin. Maybe too thin. Scuba diver. Oh, actually, this one might actually craze. I think this one might have. Oh, well, look, let's give it a go. 
Yeah, she looks a little bit too thin for my life. Oh, wow, look at that. Yep, no. I don't want to waste that, so I'll just put that in the background. I'm going to have to mix. What I might do is put it in here and add some other colour in there as well. Okay, that's way too thin. All right, that's bubbled everywhere. Just going to add another colour to that, a little bit thicker colour. I really like that scoop of Dover colour. It's gorgeous, but gorgeous blue. I just have to clean that little one. I'll just put a little bit of that. This is Atelier. Just put a little bit of that in there. This is Atelier Indigo, Black Indigo, or Blue Black, or Indigo. At that, will it make it a little bit thicker? Let me have a play. Mix that up a bit. It's probably too much. With the scuba diver in there. It's a beautiful blue. Let's give it a go.
Ooh, again, it's kind of taken off from the edges, but it doesn't look bad. That's really pretty. All right, guys. That's my little play for today. I'll give you a close-up. I'll actually give you a close-up in a moment with the camera anyway. But, yes, that's kind of pretty. But I'm really liking this technique. I'm having lots of fun with it. I'm going to have uh, probably some more playing around with different colours and trialling. And like I said, I will also start looking at um, some mixed media stuff this year. I'm just not sure when I'll start on that. Probably do some practice runs for the big piece. So I might do little pieces here and there just to try different things. And I'll do them on camera so you can have a, a play and experiment with me to see if they work or don't work. All right, guys, I will bring you down and give you a close-up. Okay, here she is in her full glory. doesn't look too bad see how it, it's picking up the paint from the back which doesn't really matter because I can paint that over again after whoops that just might be blurred a bit aren't those colors gorgeous but yeah I'm having real fun with this um, technique with the serviette technique gorgeous and I'll show you the other two the other side of the table There's a close-up of that one. Sorry, my lighting's not great today. It's yucky outside. Hot. We've had storms. So it's, uh, whoops, looks a bit blurry, doesn't it? There you go. They're my play for today. Hope you liked it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload the next video. In the meantime, guys, have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.